Well, I apologize for the stupid windows and the stupid sunlight, but this is the <laughs> the hold on, wait for it. The Losi Super Baja Ray 2.0 Millennium Edition 2K Edition. Now, I just ugh, unboxed the Traxxas UDR, which many people will say, you know, you, you choose between them, they're very different. You might hear my dog, she's playing outside, she's playing with a herding ball. I don't know if you've ever had a herding dog before, but uh, they push it around and they bark at it and then they're very, very happy puppies, but it's also very loud. So the 1 6th scale Low C Super Baja Ray is a desert truck that is four wheel drive, of course, and well, it's awesome. I mean, it, it's officially licensed, just like all that stuff. So if you're a scale person out there, you'll recognize the stickers. I've never been like, you know, I don't really care about that kind of stuff. Um, I care more about, you know, how does it, you know, how does it run? Will I have fun with it? You know, stupid stuff like that. But you know, in terms of scale stuff, I would say there's a value. There's value there for scale stuff. There absolutely is. People like it, especially in the. Um, especially in the um, scalar world, the crawler world. You know, a lot of people get wild with their Axial SCX-10s, things like that, and have really, really cool setups. Now, I'm just getting right after it because I don't want my dog to go too crazy here, but let me get this beast out of here. Holy smokes, please don't be tied into the box. Anything but that. Oh! Whoo-wee! That is the Losi Baja Super Duper Ray Element Super Millennium Edition. As you can see immediately in comparison to the Traxxas UDR, it is a step above in size, but it's negligible. I mean, yeah, it's bigger. Don't get me wrong, it's bigger. If Losi is sixth scale, then this is seventh scale. This is an absolutely beautiful truck. It has a lot of the same features that you're gonna see in the short course truck world. I'm sorry, in the desert truck world, particularly extremely long suspension travel. In this particular case, it actually has two spares in it that you can use, two working spares. I can't be 100% sure about the Traxxas ones. They might be usable as well. I think when I'm comparing the two, the scale stuff that Traxxas did looks a little better. Again, I'm nitpicking, but uh, you know, ultimately this thing is a monster, an absolute monster. You have the same kind of under body access to the battery compartment, huge, huge shocks. Let me grab the spec sheet here because this way we can kind of compare it to uh, the UDR. Obviously you have a longer real trailing arm with increased wheelbase, shaft driven four wheel drive, You've got the large scale steering servo. So I think you've got a little bit better steering servo. They both have LED lights. I mean, the Traxxas CDR and this one. This one comes with the Spectrum DX3 radio system, a bunch of scale stuff, officially licensed racing bead locks, if you're into that kind of stuff. Again, I, I'm not. I'm not saying it's dumb. I'm not saying it's, I'm just saying it's, that doesn't sell me on a truck. You know, having it being officially licensed, don't care. How fast does it go? How long does it last? You know, you've got, um, I wanted to look at the bottom. So in this truck, so in the Traxxas UDR, which you see off to the side, that goes up to 6S speed. This behemoth goes all the way up to 8S. Obviously, you've got a lot more body. You've got a lot bigger truck. You've got a lot more weight to move. This is a 8S 160 amp ESC that is also waterproof. Huge win, right? Then in the brushless motor, you got their 1 6th scale 750 kV motor. 750 kV. So on the Traxxas, again, smaller vehicle, also, you know, up to 6S LiPo there. Um, so actually, so this is, goes 8S. I wanted to see if there's motor. So the Traxxas is 2200 kV. This monstrosity is 750 kV. So you got a lot of early low end to get this thing up and running, get it running down the road. Now, one of the things I noticed from a lot of the uh, people who've run these and looking at running videos, it looks really scale. 
Like the scale aspect of it absolutely looks incredible uh, when you're watching it kind of on the horizon. And plus I can already tell like, this is a much stiffer, much stiffer transmission, uh, transmission, suspension, uh, than you would get in the UDR. Again, I don't know if it's necessarily 100,000% fair to compare these two, because this is a much bigger vehicle with a much bigger motor. You go all the way up to 8S, so two 4S batteries. This is quote unquote only 6S. And also remember, when you're getting into these monstrosity uh, RCs, right? You need some room. And already in the, in the low C, I'm sorry, in the Traxxas UDR, you're gonna need some room. This is the, the large scale steering server, the S905. They don't really ever tell you what the torque powers are. You always have to look that up. I suspect that this will be fine. The front grip, you know, the LEDs, this is, the LEDs are cool. They're nice touches. They're nice. Um, but for me, that's just aesthetics. That's stuff that breaks. Getting into these, obviously very different than what you would get. Oh, I mean, just for scale, right? Oh my God, it's not light. Oh, like this thing is an absolute beast. Absolute beast. Huge long travel shocks. Everything's aluminum or as uh, you always say, aluminum. Uh, everything about this truck is a monster. I wanted to see if they tell you any, if they give us any additional information that I thought, you know, that you might want to know. I don't think so. The 160 amp ESC and four pole, it's a four pole motor, 750 kV. Uh, King coil over shock filled socks with shocks with brand new strings, uh, strings, uh, springs. Obviously we know about the spectrum stuff that comes with the radio receiver. Obviously you're not gonna have your batteries. Um, it's ready to run, but I don't call ready to run. I don't say something's ready to run unless it includes battery because it is not ready to run. And people just don't have two 4S batteries laying around somewhere along the line. We let the industry change the definition of ready to run. Because quite frankly, it's not. You need two 4S batteries, which are gonna cost you another 125 bucks or whatever that might be. That said, this thing is just oozes large scale. Now, if you go up here, okay, to the low Z fifth scale, okay, I mean, it's basically just as big as the fifth scale, except, I mean, this is a gasser. So you're gonna have a fifth scale that is uh, made of gas or made of gas. It runs on gas. Sorry, I hope my dog barking isn't too, too loud and annoying or probably only because I just keep drawing attention to it. She could be playing anywhere else in the yard, but she's got to play right outside the door because dogs. Now, I'm not going to do, you know, the 20 minutes it takes to take the shell off. One of the things that you notice when you go to a desert truck, in particular the scale ones, it's not like the 10 scale stuff where you just rip the body off, you know? By the way, just for funsies, this is a 10th scale. <laughs> this is 10th scale. By the way, the Rustler is a fine vehicle. Absolute fun basher. You can't even really see it. I guess I have to bring it back a little more. But I mean, this 10th scale up against this thing, you know, you're not even in the same playing field. And I still think the Rustler VXL or the Stampede VXL, absolutely stellar, absolutely fun kits. And by the way, they have all the same, you know, Allen nuts or, or Allen bolts to hold everything on, except they have this fancy little, you know, quick release on the body, which people like me appreciate. Now, ultimately, how often are you going to be working on this stuff? Hopefully not much. You know, when you, when you first get it, you'll be working on it. After you run it, if you want to do a deep clean, which some of us do, some of us don't, then you're going to want to take the body off. You're going to want to clean things separately, use different solutions on different things. But, you know, overall, uh, you know, in comparison to the UDR, I, I don't, I, I mean, it's not the same truck to me. I, I see a lot of comparison videos on the internet. Oh, comparison to low, low C Baja, right? maybe the smaller scale one. I don't think I actually have that. Um, I'm running out of kits. Now we're going to actually have to start to run them, which you guys are going to love because we've got lots of cool cameras. Yeah, I don't have the smaller one, so that may be a better comparison. But if I was comparing these two, I mean, this is just a different truck altogether. And there's, 
you know, I noticed there's some fit and finish issues I can already see on here. Like the sticker's not really good on the body. There's, you know, crimps and stuff like that in the body, which I'll show you when I do some close up stuff. It is what it is. The first time you run it, <laughs> you're gonna put all your own scratches and all your own dings. But you know, that stuff matters to me. The Traxxas fit and finish was much better uh, just on the Lexan, okay? So don't freak out. People don't, don't do what I think you're gonna do. Just flip out, man. Um, so I need to get myself two 4S batteries. We're gonna be running this thing pretty soon. What do you think of it? Are you into the large scale stuff? Do you have one? Have you seen one of these run? Are you a desert, are you a Traxxas desert truck guy? Are you a low C Baja Ray guy? Maybe the smaller scale Baja Ray. It's gonna be interesting to see. I mean, this, this is just, they're just different trucks altogether, but again, much larger vehicle. So it's gonna be interesting to run this. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe down below. If you haven't yet, please do leave a like on the video and we'll talk to you again real soon.